It's a vertical axis windmill. And we decided to use a tire as the drive mechanism. The reason for a tire, it's obvious, we're Earthships. So this tire here, when this is all complete, will drive two of these generators, each one capable at a reasonable speed, making about 1.5 kilowatts. This is all structure, this is all reinforcement, stuff that have to be done anyway. We just did it with a bit of class. Uh, well, we just put up the Dynasphere. We've been working on it for a year. It's the fourth generation of uh, vertical axis windmills that we've tried. Uh, one of them spun for 20 years with no maintenance, but it didn't put out that much power. Another one put out a shitload of power and blew apart all over the Mesa. So this is a combination of the two. It should put out a decent amount of power and should last for 20 years, and it's beautiful. And we've got a bunch of them sold already. So it's quiet and reliable and good looking. So. It's our uh, current answer to wind power. It's the reason this is a sphere and not a cylinder is because you've got a longer leverage arm to collect the wind. So smaller winds will turn it, start it and turn it faster. That's why it's a sphere. Yeah, there's a small horizontal axis windmill mounted right over there that's stagnant right now while the dinosphere is spinning in the slight breeze that we have. There's a lot of stuff on the web about arguments between uh, vertical axis windmills and horizontal propeller ax uh, windmills. Mm -hmm. And they always badmouth the vertical axis uh, because they don't make enough power. This one will make more power than most vertical axis, but it's a heron and tortoise story. The, wind, the horizontal axis windmills all blow apart uh, within a year or two, you know, or three. Uh, and then they have downtime, and the downtime, if you factor in the downtime and the repair time and the money into that, into your, into your whole electrical output formula of something that'll spend 20 years with no downtime, these are, they, these win the race. It's like the hare and the tortoise. So these win the race, they're a little bit less efficient and put out a little bit less power, but they never go down, and they last forever, and they're quieter and they don't have to be on as tall a tower. So lots of advantages. So I'll be glad for somebody to put this into the argument over vertical axis versus horizontal axis windmills. What kind of cost are we talking about? Expensive for the first one. Uh, this one, we probably have uh, 10 or 12 grand into this, but that's in the developmental stage. I think we could get them down to be seven or eight grand. Uh, the first two or three are gonna be like 12 grand. And we'll get them, they're like uh, anything new, they'll go down in price. Uh, we got a lot of developmental time in this. But uh, we're not worried about the price right now. We're worried about getting power from wind and not being uh, dependent on a, on a dealership that may or may not stay in business and uh, doesn't repair their stuff more than once.